welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be going over some video we recorded while installing this T3 Terminator muzzle brake. Hope you enjoy. Once our barrel is lined up in the lathe and centered, we turn the outer diameter down to 562 thousandths of an inch. You noticed I checked it quite a few times to make sure that it's the uh, correct diameter. Uh, pretty hard to put that metal back after once you turned it off. So we're just going to check this major diameter one more time. Make sure that we're turned down to 562 thousandths. And uh, looks like we're dead on. That's perfect. So now we're going to change our tooling over to a square cutting bit and cut the minor dimension release uh, 519 and a half thousandths on the front and the back of the barrel. to the minor dimension we're going to swap over to our thread cutting bit and of course line it up with the center of the bore. At this point we've got our bit lined up with the center of the bore and we've used our center gauge to make sure that the 60 degree bit is parallel with the barrel so that it will cut straight in. Um, there wasn't enough room to put it on the barrel itself, so we used the edge of the live center um, to align the, the bit to. We've gone ahead and set up the lathe speed to 60 RPMs, which is about the slowest that mine will go, and set our DRO, which you can't see in the picture, for the major diameter of the threads. That way, as we cut the threads, we can move it in a couple thousandths at a time and, and know when we get to the depth we need. Just taking light cuts here. Um, as you noticed, I don't have the live center in it. it. There wasn't enough room, so need to make sure we don't cut it too deep, which would um, push the barrel and flex it and possibly give us threads that aren't correct. So at this point, it's just a matter of going back over those threads with the carriage until they reach the minor diameter that we've already turned into the barrel. Um, these are 28 threads per inch, so you can catch it on the barrel on even the even or the odd numbers. Uh, you can't really see it in the video, but there's a little dial indicator. Uh, on the carriage that allows you to index each cut so that they line up properly to the next. So we'll keep cutting this uh, deeper and deeper until we get to the right depth. Now that our brake fits nice and snug, um, we're going to have to index it to the barrel. This Terminator style brake has a top and a bottom, and uh, in order to do that we need to take some metal off from the shoulder of the barrel so that when we turn it in it will rotate to the top dead center and it will indicate properly onto the barrel. 
we can check it with the back of the barrel to make sure it's top dead center. So when preparing for doing this job, I did a practice 916 by 28 uh, threads on this sample barrel so that I could turn back the shoulder, move it into the screen, I could turn back the shoulder and uh, mount and know how far it would rotate the muzzle brake. So uh, five thousandths of an inch on the shoulder gave us about a quarter rotation, which helped when we were just trimming the shoulder back to make sure we get the brake indicated in the correct spot. Um, you can see the screws from the front sight that we'll use to make sure we're indicated in the correct location and uh, everything lines up uh, satisfactory. I neglected to show setting up the barrel and the lathe, so I wanted to give you kind of this shot so you can see how it was done. Uh, I have a set of brass screws that I use in the back of my tailstock that allows me to center the barrel appropriately in the headstock. I use a, a dial indicator and, and dial it in uh, on the back so that I know that the barrel is nice and straight in the headstock and it's not just in the center on the muzzle end. And uh, as you can see, she runs pretty straight and true uh, on both the front and the, the back end. That's very critical, especially where this bullet's going to be exiting the device, the muzzle device. Um, it needs to be perfectly parallel with the bore. Finally, we're going to reinstall the muzzle brake and we're going to bore out the diameter of the exit hole to a proper dimension so that the bullet can exit safely. Make sure you check your manufacturer's suggested uh, size for this as it's a pretty critical dimension. One final note too is when you indicate these barrels, they need to be indicated to the bore of the barrel, not to the external um, contour of the barrel, as the uh, external contour isn't parallel to the bore. And if you indicate to that, your muzzle brake will not be centered to the bore and you'll have a catastrophic failure. So the final final step here is to polish the bore. Um, you can do it a little safer than I am with this uh, example, but um, either using sandpaper or you can use a chucking reamer of the proper dimension uh, to finish that off. Um, you also notice at the end of the pictures, the back of the muzzle brake has a taper on it as it goes down into the barrel or onto the barrel gives a little more finished and professional look to the project.
for watching. Please like and subscribe.